that today you'll come away feeling a little bit more comfortable talking about abortion. That's right, I said it. <laughs> I grew up in Kentucky. There were a lot of things that people just didn't talk about. And abortion just happened to be another one of them, so that when I got pregnant, I had nowhere to turn to, nobody who I can, could ask about their experience. But I always said that I was pro-choice for everyone else, but pro-life for myself. I still wanted to believe that my principles somehow, my like fixed philosophical convictions, would win out over the reality of my life. And that was not the case. I didn't grow up in a pro-life community or a pro-life household, and I was never told that abortion is wrong, so why did I feel like it had to be a secret from the moment I found out? I don't even know the answer to that. But I do have a solution, and the solution is talking about these things and making them mainstream and making them acceptable to talk about. I've been talking about abortion and my abortion ever since I had it. And then when I got it off my chest, I felt like the secret had been revealed, and then other women felt like they could reveal their secret. This tour is so amazing because I can do that on a larger scale. I did know that I needed my sleepless nights to end, and I knew that I needed um, you know, my thoughts of a miraculous miscarriage to stop. It requires a lot to kind of put myself back in that place and relive the experience through the telling of the story. All I wanted when I was going through my experience was someone to relate to, um, someone to tell me that they had gone through it and to like be honest about what the experience was for them. Having to go through those mixed feelings with all the messages about what I should feel um, was hard. I felt isolated. This is a way to reach other people and to change a conversation that was for me very damaging. Now abortion's been legal for 40 years and we have all of these women and all of these stories and all of these situations that we're not hearing about because we're still fighting about the same thing that's never really gonna go away. Most people don't love or hate abortion. Most people th are thinking about themselves and their own lives and their own story and we're missing out on all of that. We're missing out on what abortion really is and how it really affects people.